What's up, people? So in the midst of figuring out just what the hell I'm doing with my life, I needed to watch something new and most of all something good. And since I have yet to finish season one of The Punisher, I guess today I'm talking about Hulk and Lucky, one of the most entertaining and underappreciated movies of the year. It is basically a spiritual sequel to Hell or High Water. As in, it's not really a sequel, but it feels like you're watching a similar movie with the same atmosphere. Just not as cinematic, Hell High Water was better directed, and it didn't contain as much cheesiness as Logan Lucky. But in technical terms, especially the cinematography and the location, both movies are of a smaller scale and both have a similar color grading, different shades of brown and beige. Not something you would encounter in a movie that takes place in a big city like New York. Which is good, because neither one takes place in New York, and both do a great job at creating the right atmosphere for their stories. The plot is easy to follow, this is a heist movie from the same director as Ocean's Eleven, although the tone is completely different, at least from what I remember from Ocean's Eleven, this movie is a little bit more serious. And like most heist films, its survival is directly dependent on how well its characters come off. And with a cast like this, you just need someone talented with a pen to write interesting and charismatic characters. And thank god, almost all of them were. In fact, I only had issues with one, with one character, but since she didn't show up until the third act and everything involving her is pretty inconsequential to the overall plot, my score and what I think of this film won't be affected by my belief that her performance and character were atrocious. But anyway... Daniel Craig played by far the best character, he was fantastic, and to think that the sole reason I didn't saw this movie earlier, earlier was because of how stupid he looked in the trailers. Shame on me. I should have known that the only movies you can judge off trailers are DC films. The way he looks might come off silly, but in the context of his character and with the performance Daniel Craig delivered, he managed to be not only believable, but extremely likable and entertaining. What the hell was this guy during the snooze fest that was Spectre? Oh boy, now that's a train wreck. M Driver proves once more that he's a master of his craft, and it's a good thing that he's playing one of the main characters in the new Star Wars movies. I don't think people have realized how good this guy is. This, alongside Patterson, and to a lesser extent, Silence, would make an interesting trilogy to watch, just to see how versatile he really is. All the other performances were good, including the one by a child actress. There were moments where she could have been better, I'm just relieved she wasn't terrible, but if she had been, her screen presence was so little that I don't think it would have affected the movie very much. Only in one crucial scene, and in that one she was good, so no problem here. And I thought the pacing was great, thanks to a terrific job with the editing and direction, on to the third act, when they introduced that unnecessary character, and the movie goes off the rails, but until then, this movie was a delight, and just made me feel like I was watching a real film, and not Saturday morning cartoons. The soundtrack was also good, can't say I remember anything specifically, like when I watch Your Name and a si or A Silent Voice, then I immediately recognized the theme songs, but it also didn't come off like royalty free music or something like that. Every track, or most of them, worked within the moment, and the movie overall was just a well done piece of entertainment. And that was exactly what I was after when I decided to watch it. I'm giving Logan Lucky a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Not sure which one, for now it's a 7, but with a second watch I'll probably bump it to an 8. I was really surprised by this film, and since apparently not a lot of people found it to be that good, I'm more than happy to recommend it. It's currently one of the best films of 2017, as far as I'm concerned, and that's all that really matters. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you like it, comment below, down below, leave an upload for that feed me algorithm, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!